It just can't be done. A man might as well try to fly. That was once a rather common put down. A quick way to dismiss a powerful, optimistic idea. It was a taunt that Orville and Wilbur Wright knew very well. Because as Wilbur put it, men had by common consent adopted human flight as the standard of impossibility. But across the ages, many great minds have tried to solve the problem of flight before they conceded defeat. But against the impossible, a pair of humble Ohioans who sold hand-built bicycles in their shop in Dayton, Ohio, triumphed. How did they do that? Well, the Wright brothers studied everything written on the subject. They stared at birds for hours and hours at a time. They tinkered with their designs during sleepless nights in their shop. But more than anything, they made history because they were willing to accept the cost of believing in the future. John Daniels was one of a handful of assistants to help Orlo and Wilbur Wright set up their plane at Kitty Hawk on that famous December day back in 1903. Almost everyone who knew the Wright brothers knew what they were trying to do. Among those people, Mr. Daniels was perhaps the most supportive. And yet, before he actually saw it happen, before he saw it with his own eyes, Daniel said, we couldn't help thinking Wilbur and Orville were nuts. <laughs> but you know, as it turned out, those nuts could fly. <laughs> those nuts changed the world. They laid the foundation for modern flight and they made it. Ohio, an international center for aviation research and production. On a foundation they built a century ago, Ohio is now home to 1,200 aerospace firms that together employ more than 100,000 Ohioans. On a foundation they built a century ago, Today, Ohio is the largest supplier of parts to Airbus and the second largest supplier to Boeing. And NetJets, NetJets operates the world's largest private jet fleet from right here in Columbus. That's the legacy of two Ohioans puttering away in a Dayton bicycle shop 110 years ago.